Okay. I talk loud, it's windy. It's minus 20, maybe minus 25 with the wind chill. Poor DOG. Okay, good boy. Um, somebody wanted me to do a video as if it's going to help. But the, prior, the person asked me and pleaded with me not to make it <clears throat> into a me, me, me. Doesn't want me to talk about me at all. DOG is saying, ha, fat chance of that happening. A video not to talk about me. Lord, give me the strength to do this. Okay, here we go. The media has been covering this week and it's scary about the issue of Ron Barnett. 95% of the people in this vi that watches this video want to know who Von Barnett is. Von Barnett is a guy that's been here about 80 years, uh, sorry, or maybe 100 years, kidding, in the 80s, 90s, and he applied to have, to be a lawyer. He passed the course, but the tick, the guy being tick-headed, didn't follow up on the final details of, you know, you have to practice hours in a law firm to officially become a member of the Bar Society. So, Von Burnett tried to help a few people that was going to go to court and he got in trouble. Von Burnett I think it was 2010, I was there, judge, then provincial, jail, uh, provincial judge, Von um, David Bell, sentenced him, Richard Bell, sentenced him to 10 days in jail. Because he was trying to help the less fortunate that was appearing in court. Okay, <clears throat> we got a problem here major major problem and i've been saying this all along the definition of the word i'm not talking to myself here okay the definition of the word justice where did that come from justice it's not justice for everyone it's just true justice justice for a certain few can you say dennis Allen? Anyway, you get the message. Vaughn, once you charge here, in especially in Fredericton, they really push it to charge you with a summary offense. The only reason I say that all along, summary means there's no preliminary hearing to find out if there's enough evidence to proceed to trial. Are you listening to me? I'm surprised he didn't bite me. Or, I don't think we'll go for a walk. You are tired. Um, and there's no, you don't have the right to a lawyer. Everybody says, everybody has the right to a lawyer. No, it doesn't work that way. Legal Aid New Brunswick will not give you a lawyer because it's a summary charge. There's little chance of you going to jail. But the judge can still sentence you to six months in jail. So, there you are. You say, all right, I need help. Then you got this tick, tick headed activist, Va Von Barnett, with a good heart, will say, let me help you to tell you how, how to do things. Right off the bat, he's not supposed to do that. It's against the law. What is the law? The law of the mafia, I mean, the law society. 
He was in court for a one day hearing. There's a judge, what's her name? Deware or something? A female judge listening to this story and the law society want to put this guy in jail for three months. Three to six months in jail. Now, he never told me he was going to go, go to court. He never told a lot of people. That's the way he is. To have a judge that used, that used to be a member of the Bar Society, Law Society, is like having, it's just like having Blaine Higgs ruling over a trial that the Irvings are charged. It's the same, same thing. Now, Nicole, Nicole O'Byrne, the law professor from UNB, she's always in the courts, in the media, to give her her opinion on this issue, on different issues, I'm sorry. You fall asleep? But, Nicole O'Byrne, you don't hear, 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 give opinions that justice is not access to everybody. It's impossible. So, she's going to reach her decision in February. People say, oh, we should gather up. People don't gather up because they don't have the self-esteem. Right now, here I am raising my voice <coughs> and about 10 people walk by. Oh boy, hell. Should I call the police? Yes, the police! Come on! We need some action here. Oh, Roger Brown. Things are going good with Roger Brown. But anyway, stay tuned. Charlie, focus. So, it is very upsetting what happened that the courts will waste their time and say, we are going to take the time and listen to this because a one person wants to help a poor person with a mental illness or a poor person that has no money and he wants to help to stop that person from going to jail or from having a record. Trying to help people not to have a record so they could maybe, what's that word again? Oh yeah, work. But it doesn't happen that way. And it will continue on. So uh, me as a blogger, I will ask the politician, we'll see Andrea Mason, she said that God sent her to Fredericton. Well, I got a few questions I got to ask her about the law society and going after people that dare to help the less fortunate because of the, you ever been in court? Case law, case law number 525A. Case law 525A, oh my God, that's terrible. You're standing there and say, what the hell are they talking about? Case law 525, is it 525A or 5256, whatever. But you get the message. But how come the, those people, the government, and the so-called justice system cannot be like this dog here? DOG, do you think if he knew <clears throat> that I was on welfare, on social assistance, that he would be sitting beside me all day long and listen to my bullshit? Would you? He doesn't know that I'm on welfare. It's unconditional love. He doesn't give a damn if you're rich, if you're poor. How come our justice system and the government can't do the same thing as this dog? Okay, DOG, did I talk enough? I'll go for a walkie-walkie. You want walkie-walkie? Let's go.